see, training's not been going well. And it's only not been going well because I've made it not go well. Um, last week, I ran 69 kilometers, which on the face of it looks good, but you know, you can run 80 kilometers every week. And if you've got no specific structure to it, then you're not gonna get the time in a race you want if you're just running aimlessly. And that's what I was doing, basically. I did one session last week on a Thursday. Uh, no long run. I basically just ran 10 and 11 kilometers every day. You know, there was nothing, nothing there last week, really. And this week, I've not ran a single kilometer or mile up until today. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This week I've had off. I've not done no running. I've not done that for ages. And it's just weird. And, and I've just not wanted to. Let's just throw that out there. I didn't want to do it. I know that in running you have to be disciplined and to get what you need to do. You have to do what needs to be done even though you don't feel like doing it. In, you know, in all weathers, I understand all that. I've done it so many times, but I just didn't want to do it. I wanted to have a break and, it's like, and I've enjoyed it, but you know, like yesterday, I felt a little bit crappy. Started getting like, not agitated, but like I, I, I could have been easily getting a bit moody or something and it was my own fault and I knew why because I'd not been training and I'd not been eating right I've not been I've not been stuffing my face full of crap every night but I've not been eating at the right times I've not been eating the right food and it's true what they say if you eat shit you feel like shit and that was what I started doing so today gone a little bit more bit back on it and just knew that was it right now I'll sort you head out Matt so I um, got back on it today, I ran, I did five kilometre run, which felt terrible, and I did it in 24 minutes, just under. I didn't look at my watch once, which is a true thing. First, one of the first times I've ever done that, I just covered my watch up and just ran, I didn't even, when I could hear it vibrating and beeping at each split. And I knew I was running, I wouldn't say fast, but I wasn't taking it easy, and I thought, I can't be bothered, I just, what, it is what it is, let's just get five kilometres out of the way. I'm gonna do a run tomorrow, and then I'm going to hopefully get back on some training next week. There's no specific reason if it, I just didn't want to train. Sometimes I get like that. I think, like, doing one session in December, I covered a decent amount of miles in December. It was, like, you know, 250 to 270 kilometres. It's not bad. Not not my highest, but, it's, you know, it was OK. But there was just one speed session in there. And then January, I did two speed sessions. And I did one speed session last week in the beginning of February, so it's not enough. It's not enough to get what I've been saying or what I get. It's not enough. I need to do better if I want. But the problem is that I'm finding it hard to get myself up for these goals that I've completed so many times, because I find myself back, not to square one, but like this fitness drops a little bit, so I'm building it back up. And then I'm thinking, am I even bothered about running a sub 90 minute and a half marathon again? Because I've done it that many times. And I don't say that to like be whatever. A lot of people are at different levels. Some people can run a sub 90 half marathon every day. Some people will never run it. So it is, that is what it is with that. But I, can I be bothered? This is the problem. Over the years, I've been consistently just at it. 2018, when I took up running to lose weight, my fastest 10K was 40 minutes in that year. 2019, it was 37 minutes. 2020 it was 38 minutes, 2021 it was 38 minutes, 2022 it was 37 minutes and last year 2023 it was 38 minutes again. So I've been consistently there at them sort of levels and my half marathons I'd say have started when in 2018 when I run my first one in a race. That was abysmal at the start of the year but you know like close to 152 hours and then I got to like 135 and then that year topped out, 2018, I think I ran 128.59. 2019, uh, I ran 121. 2020, I didn't run a half marathon. But I think it's usually it's stagged roughly around about 123 to 125. And then my marathons have averaged out around about, over the years, between three hours 30 and three hours six. So I need a different goal. I need to sort my head out and get training again. But I wanted to put the video on, this different video from what I'm used to doing, 
just because I know people watch my videos and I know sometimes you can put shit on when things are going well and I'm not saying things are going bad I like my life I like training but I've just decided I just can't be asked at this minute and I've took a week off which affects things but it's just part of fucking journeys isn't it just different stages of where you're at work's been okay I've had nice shifts in work not like I've been working shifts that have made it you know insociable to go training I've just honestly I've just felt like I can't be bothered and you know what it's I've actually liked it it's not like I'm, I'm a professional athlete and I'm going to lose contracts here and there or sponsors are going to drop me or, you know, people are sending me free stuff and I need to keep posting about these free things and making content or I'm not going to get paid. It's not like that. I just took a week off, you know. Worst things have happened at sea. But I am going to get back on it next week. I've started today with 5K, plus I did 2.6 kilometre run with K. She did really well. Um, Kay's, doing, Kay's doing counts to 5k and that's, I'm, I'm proud of her she's been doing good so I was helping her with that and then you know tomorrow I'll probably do a, a longer run do more, you know, longer than 5k I might do 10k tomorrow and then see where I'm at next week and just start building some structure and writing a proper plan for myself because I know what needs to be done and I know what I need to do to get things to the place where I need to get them I just have to switch on that's it I don't have to want to do it because I'm at the stage where I could just think sod it I'll just run I'll 10k every night get keep fit and healthy not bothered about chasing running time goals and just do that but I do want to push myself and stretch the boundaries of what I'm capable of um, but you know Training has many ups and many downs. This is just one of the, I wouldn't say a down because I don't feel down, but it's just one of the moments where you take a little step back, reassess, attack again. Anyway, that's long enough I've kept everyone. It's going now.